What's up everybody, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover shop pay installments, what they are, how they work and how to set them up in your store and also how to advertise shop pay installments to your customers. To start, if you don't know what shop pay is, it's an accelerated checkout method for Shopify merchants and it's shown to increase conversions by up to 1.72 times as it makes the checkout experience easier as certain information is saved such as the shipping and the credit card details for customers when they're checking out across different Shopify stores using ShopPay. ShopPay installments is a method of splitting up the payment used through ShopPay. So ShopPay offers customers the option to pay in full at checkout or to split their purchase into four equal installment payments. Something to note is you can't adjust the number of installment payments or the price range available for ShopPay installments. Before we get into the rest of this video, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. One thing to note about ShopPay installments is that it's currently in an early access program, so you want to make sure you join the waitlist so you can be first in line to get this feature as soon as it's available. The way this works is that the ShopPay installments range from prices of $50 to $1,000. If your product costs that much, you can have the customer split that payment across with zero interest across four different payments. For example, if the purchase was $1,000 and you wanted to split that payment up by four, the customer could instead pay $250 in a set range of payments over time rather than paying that $1,000 up front. Something to note is that the eligibility of this is that you have to be in the US selling in US dollars and have both Shopify payments and shop pay enabled for your Shopify store. How do you promote this to your customers as having the payments split up with zero interest over time has been shown to increase conversion rates. You want to advertise this to the customers on the product page so they don't feel like they have to pay the full amount up front. The example in front of me is the shop pay banner displayed on the page showing the customer that they can choose shop pay at checkout to pay in full or they can split their purchase into four equal installments of $80, $0, no hidden fees for interest in between, and allows the customers to budget this purchase correctly. Again here it's going to show the Shopify Pay logo and it's going to show it underneath the price making the purchase seem cheaper to the customer. If you do have access to the early program you want to log, navigate to this Add Shop Pay Installments page. And from there, you just want to follow this setup here. In the next step here, I'm going to go with you guys step by step in how to install the Shop Payment Banner installment code onto your product pages. Now, something to note here with my store is that you have to be based in the US and selling in US dollars. I am not with this store. So the actual Shop Pay installments banner will not show up for my store. So I won't be able to show you the final result. Being said, I'm going to go with you guys step by step on how to do it by following the Shopify instructions. The way you get to the installment instructions is you go to promote shop payment installments on the shop pay installments page. And from there, you're going to click this link and it's going to show you how to install it step by step. For every theme, it's going to be really different in terms of the files you're going to be editing. Shopify, if you scroll down here, has listed several of the overall template names. For my store, it's product template, but for yours, it may be product-form.liquid. And something to note here is the .liquid is just the file extension name, such as .doc or .xls for Excel. So you can just ignore that and really look for the main section. So once you find that file, you also want to take in this code and you're going to install it. Now I'm going to go walk with you step by step in how to install it in my own theme. Something to note is that my own theme is the debate theme on this test store and it's been automatically installed, but you can go through these steps here to make sure that it is installed correctly for your store. So the way you're gonna edit this code is you're gonna go to your Shopify store, you're gonna go to the online store section, and then themes. And then once there, you're going to want to edit the code. But something to note is that before you edit the code, you wanna ensure that you duplicate the theme. So you go to actions, then you're gonna click duplicate, and this is gonna duplicate the theme so that if you make any changes to the code that results in breaking your websites, you can quickly restore it by going to the duplicate theme and then making this the main theme. So I've duplicated it here. So now I'm comfortable going into my code and editing it, knowing that if I make a mistake, I can always go back to the older version. So to edit the code, you wanna click on actions, then you wanna to go to edit code. Once you hit edit code, you're gonna be brought into this code editor in the Shopify theme section. It can be really overwhelming, especially if you don't understand what a lot of this stuff means. I personally don't understand a lot of it, even though I am a programmer, but you just wanna 
kind of dig through this and make sure you focus on what you need to do. So what you need to do is you want to go to the tutorial here and you want to look for these different forms. So you can command and copy just the base of it and look for that. I know specifically for this theme, it's product dash template. So I'm just going to search for it here. And there it is on the left product dash template. And then the next section, you just want to scroll down a little bit and it's going to show you how to install it. So what you're going to be looking for is this snippet of code here. The dot dot dots means that there is extra writing behind it, but you just really want to focus on this section. So I'm just going to copy the form quote product extra quote, and I'm going to search for that in the file. And I'm going to do that by pressing command F on my computer, giving me the find window. Once that's there, I'm just going to paste that in. And just like that, you can see it. So for my store here and my theme code specifically on line 161, you can see the code that is listed in the page and it matches that exactly as form product comma product. So the way you ensure that the shop pay installments is installed is you just want to copy and paste this section here. So it's curly bracket, curly bracket, form, payment underscore terms, curly bracket, curly bracket. So I have that copied and you're just going to paste it in here. Now for the debate theme, it's been automatically installed. I'm just going to copy and paste it here for reference. You can also ignore everything below here. You just don't want to touch any of that because that is stuff that could break your theme potentially. So you just want to paste it right under this title here just to be safe. So once that's in there, that's really all the steps. So you have that installed. If you're based in the US and you're selling in US dollars, you should be now be able to go to your page and you should see the shop pay installment banner. If it's not showing for whatever reason, you might want to go down to the FAQ section and it's going to give you explanations on what to do. For example, if you don't have that form syntax that you're looking for, there are other things you can look for and different codes you can paste in. So overall, this process can really depend on your Shopify theme. If you have any questions or you need any help, it might be worth it to hire a developer just to briefly put this in as you maybe don't want to spend too much time fiddling around with something you don't know. I hope this explanation helped as this topic can be decently complex, especially if you've never really played around in the Shopify code before. Overall, this concludes the video on Shopify installments. If you like this video, I'd love if you smash that like button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and thank you for watching.